What's up, EuroLeague fans out there? I'm very excited to bring to you another edition, a brand new edition of A Quarter with Kyle Hines. This year, I'm very excited to bring to you um, a different type of theme. You know, me as being the old guy here in EuroLeague, the old vet, um, we're going to talk to some of the future and brightest and upcoming stars of EuroLeague. And today for the first episode, we have, you know, somebody that uh, is definitely one of the, you know, future, you know, brightest point guards, uh, you know, coming up in EuroLeague, um, Albert Berlin's own Tamir Black. Tamir, what's up, man? How's everything? Hey, Kyle, how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's a great honor to be here and talking to you and uh, uh, to the EuroLeague fans. So I'm really happy to be here. Now, me and you have something in common. Um, we both started our EuroLeague debuts in Germany. Mine was, you know, 13 years ago, many a long, long, long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> a long, long time ago in, in Bamberg. And, and yours is in Alba Berlin. Um, so, you know, before the first EuroLeague game, and I know, you know, as a youngster, you know, as a young kid, you probably watched so many EuroLeague games, so yeah, many EuroLeague countless. moments. <laughs> yeah, countless, you know, countless video, countless films of games and et cetera. So, you know, what was it like, you know, the day before, the night before you made your EuroLeague debut? Were you nervous? Was it just like, is it treated like any other game? Or how were you feeling? I mean, the night before we arrived to Barcelona and we we're, yeah. you know, we're going to play Barcelona, one of the biggest teams in Europe. And, uh, you know, I'm just at the hotel room, um, thinking to myself, you know, this is a dream come true for me, you know, finally playing the EuroLeague after watching it since I was seven, eight years old and always wanted to be there. So um, I was just really, really excited to, to finally make it. Yeah, and, and you have, like I said, we have some things in common. Your first matchup was Nick Kalakis, one of the, you know, <laughs> best EuroLeague players, you know, of all time. And mine, I think our first game, if I remember correctly, was versus Olympiacos. So it was like, you know, we're playing Olympiacos, I'm playing against Ladoulos, and I'm like, oh, man, wow. So I felt, yeah. the, I felt the, the same the same exact way. Now, when I remember, you know, after playing a few first my first few EuroLeague games, I felt that I had to adjust to a couple of things. I felt like the speed of the game and the physicality of the game was something I had to adjust to. I mean, it's a lot different watching or even just kind of talking about it. Now that you've kind of played, you know, a handful of games, you know, what are some things that you that you felt you needed to adjust to or something that you're still adjusting to? Um, I just feel that the game is much faster, um, mm -hmm. you know, very, very smart and physical. And, of course, playing against the best players in Europe, you know, with so much experience, um, there's a lot to adjust and a lot to learn every single game that I play. So, you know, I just try to go out there and do my best every night. Is there something about the league that has surprised you since you, you know, started playing this year? I mean, it really does look impressive also from the outside as a fan. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, the, the level of players and coaches is uh, so high. I mean, there wasn't so much surprise. It's just you know, excited to be a part of it finally. Now, your team is still fairly young. You know, you have a fairly young team. Um, you know, you have, you know, a few guys, you know, that are also had the EuroLeague debuts this year. But you do have, you know, a couple of veterans, I guess you would call them, um, like Luke Sigma and, yeah. uh, and, 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 and Zeusman. Um, so did you have, what have they told you or told, you know, some of the other, you know, guys on your team? Um, have they given you guys any advice about, you know, about EuroLeague or about playing in EuroLeague? Um, I think they just want us to play as hard as we can and, uh, you know, every second that we get on the court just to to play the best right basketball that we can. And uh, one thing I know from my dad that he always told me, just play the game, not the occasion. So, yeah. um, you know, I try to take that, that quote to every game that I go to. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's basketball and it's five against five. So anything can happen. Now, you, you brought up your dad, and, you know, my dad isn't a basketball coach. And he calls, he's even even still to this day, with all my accomplishments and everything that I've done, he still calls me after every game and lets me know everything that I've done wrong. Right, right. Your, right. your dad is a Hall of Fame basketball coach and one of the greatest, you know, of basketball coaches of EuroLeague. 
what does he tell you after every game? I mean, is he like, you know, does he, you know, allow you to call him and then he, then you guys talk about it or is he calling you, sending you text messages? Is he in coach mode always or is he in dad mode always? When he, I when think he it's, like a, it's like a, a mix of, of yeah. both things, you know, sometimes, you know, he's my dad, but you can't take the coach side of it. Yeah. So he sees things <laughs> in both ways, but uh, mostly I think he's just, you know, proud of me and the, uh, Absolutely. wants the best for me and you know he for sure as one of the best coaches in, in the history of the game uh, has great uh, you know uh, tips to give me before mm-hmm. every game so it's a blessing to have him that's great man that's great now you, I, I mentioned I mentioned Deuceman um, and is it has it been you know an easier transition for you um, you know being I'm sure like you, you know him for a long time and I'm yeah. guessing you correct me if I'm wrong but this is probably your first time playing outside of, of Israel. Sure. So has it been having him there along the along the ride with you eased your transition a little bit? Because you know you have yeah. somebody that understands mm-hmm. you, speaks the same speaks language, my language. Understand, yeah, right. understands the same everything. So how's that transition been? How's he how's he been able to help you with that? Yeah, I mean the transition's been great, you know, coming into German to Germany and to Alba Berlin, um such an uh, organized club. Mm-hmm. Um it's really been great and Zeusman to have him with me, you know, keep the uh, each other, you know, we were friends off the court before, yeah. like six years ago. So it's it's really a blessing to have him with me and to speak Hebrew and to talk about things that uh, are not always basketball. You know, sometimes yeah. off the court just to clear a mind. Um, so yeah, it's really been a much easier transition for me. First time being out of Israel as a pro player. So. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm sure you witnessed, you know, going to so many games as a youngster. You know, one of the one of the best things about your league and what makes your league so unique is the fans. You know, the fans, the atmosphere, everything that, you know, that comes along with that. Last year with COVID, unfortunately, you know, we weren't able to have as many fans. But now we have the fans back. And, you know, for me, it seems like, you know, all the arenas we played in so far, I think like the fans are even more louder um, even more ecstatic than they were previously. So what is it, you know, what is it, has it been like, you know, having the fans back and playing, you know, and, and even when Alba, Alba Berlin, when it's such a beautiful arena, um, in the O2 right. arena, the Mercedes-Benz arena, what, is, what has it been, you know, like playing there with the fans and, you know, the EuroLeague fans as well? Yeah, I mean, it's been awesome, you know. I've played on the road now in Jalgris, which is, yeah. you know, a country <laughs> of basketball, which was yeah. an unbelievable experience for me. Uh, also in Red Star with their their fans and mm-hmm. you know it's really really exciting to play against in front of different fans all over the court and they we really miss them I mean for sure you were talking about last year not having them mm-hmm. in the Euro League it was probably tough um, and they are a big part of the game so it's really it's really good that they're back. Now, this question is a little bit of a silly question, um, and I know it's a little bit difficult to under to answer right now, but let's just pretend. If you had a magic ball and you could, you know, predict what your career is going to be like 10 years from now, if you were me, the old guy, <laughs> 10 <laughs> years from now, you know, how, what would be the perfect version of how you want your career to, to be? Just continuing my story. The way, you know, things have worked out for me throughout my career, you know, starting in second division in Israel and, uh, yeah. you know, being uh, always on the side, I'm, on the side, I'm sure you understand, yeah. you're also in your position. So <laughs> yeah. uh, people not believing in you and now I'm playing in the best league in Europe. So I'm just trying to be the best that I can every single day, both off the court and on the court and just to continue my story in the early Absolutely, man. I mean, you've done such a fantastic job already. Um, and, man, I continue to wish you Thank the best you, of man. luck. So now we're going to go into our quick shot. Who was your favorite EuroLeague point guard growing up? I remember when I was young, I liked uh, Terrell McIntyre. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, yeah. Was he was I really amazing. He was amazing. Yeah. He, he was amazing. He was amazing. No. Favorite EuroLeague memory? Um, I don't want to take any shots, Kyle, but... <laughs> 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 I already know. I already know where this is going. I know where this is going, uh, man. <laughs> you know, one of the plays, Therese Rice, at the end of the game, semifinals. I'm yeah. sorry, man, but <laughs> nah, 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 it, <laughs> it is one of 
one of those. It's moments. okay. <laughs> it's okay. Tyrese Rice is, is one of my one of my friends and one of my guys, so it's okay. But but and, and, and Ricky Hickman too. So like like two of yeah, my really good friends. So so every time I see them, I I have that memory in the back of my head always. So right, and, it, and it doesn't right, and it doesn't right. and it doesn't so happen that I play them a lot. So the same the same, <laughs> the same yeah. thing that happened. If there is one player that you would like to match up against, who would it be? I think J.R. Holden. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he man. was, I mean, he played under my dad in the Russian national team and I uh, uh-huh. like the way he played and how competitive he was and it would have been excited to match up with him. What arena would you like to play in? Uh, you know, what is the arena that you're looking forward to the most? I mean, besides the ones that you already played in, but when, which one are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to the arena Fenerbahce plays in. I think with yeah. their fans and, the, you know, the environment that the that they have over there, it's. I really like when fans are that involved in the game. It brings out the best of me. So I'm really excited for that. The day you signed your your league contract, how did you celebrate? Um, I remember I was at home with my family, and uh, mm-hmm. you know they were all around me. Really, you know some. My sisters were crying and uh, yeah. like excited for me and just it was a really thrilling moment and just had dinner with my family that the close ones yeah man i mean I, i'm sure it was a special moment like i said especially for you it's almost like a a full circle moment i guess you could say really, so yeah, you watch very, very you watch moment. you watch so many games you've been a part of so many games and now you get a chance to you know make your own legacy which you already been doing so far yeah man it was really one of those moments that I'll take for the rest of my life. Well, man, I wish you a lot of luck. Man, I appreciate you taking the I time. I wish you man. the best of luck to you, too. And my dad says a big hello to you. Oh, so. please, please tell him I said hello, man. He's definitely one of my favorite players. One of my favorite people, you know, one of my favorite people. Definitely one of my favorite coaches, man. Yeah, for sure, man. Thank you. So, man, anytime, man, anytime. Wish you the best of luck, health, and everything. Um, and I guess, you know, we'll see each other soon when we match up together. Um, All right. But, Thank you all the EuroLeague fans for watching this episode of The Quarter. Um, and you tune into our next one very soon. Take care.